What's going on guys, it's Matt here, welcome back to the Minecraft video. Now this video is actually a little bit different, um, you might, you might be wondering why I'm staring at a wood block. It's actually because I actually made something, a new redstone creation, um, and yeah, I like it, and I hope you guys will too. Um, and it's actually a Minecraft Pocket Edition Bowling Alley. Now, um, I know this is pretty boring, just because, um, well, there's a couple flaws with it, um, first of all, it does not not keep score, um, and, um, I tried making it keep score, and every single time you throw it in the center or the far right, you just always get a strike. Um, which is all ten pins knocked down, and, um, another flaw is but sometimes the ball, um, doesn't co always come back, which, basically, the ball is just a, uh, snowball, but I have to use a minecart because I'm in creative mode, and, um, one, another thing is, it also, and if you're in creative mode, you cannot throw more than one item. So that's why I have a minecart, because if you throw it, it will throw um, only one item. And um, the original ball that I was going to use, which I still am, but you have to be in survival mode, is a uh, snowball. But that throws 16 of them if you're in creative mode, and if you throw more than, well, one, it'll jam the system. So, um, I'm just going to turn around now, and another flaw is... Um, there actually is no pins, it's actually just carpet on top of slabs. So I'm going to turn around now and show you guys what it is. So, basically we just have some lights up here, we have some snowballs in here, but they seem to have, they seem to have gone missing. Um, sorry guys. And by the way, happy Easter guys, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, I know I am, spending time with my family. Um, so, over here we're on the first frame. Second frame with this lamp is on. Um, foul. So if you touch this tripwire hook, it's a foul and it resets you, you lose a frame. So if you hit it and on your first frame, you go to the second. If you're on the second, you go to the first. Um, and let's just do a couple practice shots. So I'm going to throw the minecart. And... Yeah, we always just get a strike. It rotates to the second frame. No foul. And that was supposed to be for the ball return because it'll spit out a snowball. Um, but I didn't put anything in it yet. Of course, we got another strike. I'm going to just get rid of the scoring system and maybe rotate back to the first frame. Now, let's say I do hit the foul line. Oops. This lamp turns on said foul, and then I'll skip a frame. So, and then I'll, if I just go ahead and bowl again, it'll just rotate back to the first frame. Just like that. Okay, so this redstone is actually very complex. Um, I find it pretty hard because I had to do some experimenting. And, wait, did that really just work? Oh my god. Hold on. I haven't got the ball return to work yet, and maybe I just found out how to make it work. So if I throw a ball, does it click? Yes. Does it click again if I throw another ball? Oh. Shoot. Will it click? No. Will it click if I... Well, I'm just going to hit the following just to go back to the second frame. Um, see, this is the flaws that I can't figure out how to solve yet. So there's the click to go to the second frame. Let's throw the ball. Okay, it does not seem like you would get your ball back if you did it the other way. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the redstone. It's not that complex. Um, so, this is all the redstone. Um, there's a little bit behind here also. Um, just because for the actual, for it to count it, to go in. Oh my god, I did a lot of tests. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't even check these yet. So, if you guys do want, well, yeah. Okay, let's just go down here. Wait, why does that one have a torch? It's supposed to have a torch. Oops, that's boots. There we go. Does this have anything? Yes, it does. Okay, so. I'm just gonna... I'm kind of a messy builder. Um, so I'm gonna just do a tutorial on how to make the, um... The first frame, second frame, and the hoppers down here to work. So, if you guys just want to maybe pause the video and look at how to make this, um, I will certainly 
stop moving. Um, so I'm going to go down now and show you the view like this. Okay, so, for this, for the, um, hopper system, for the pins, you're going to need the following materials. One, a hopper, redstone repeater, comparator, redstone torch, redstone dust, um, where is it? A block of your choice. Rail, powered rail, minecart, and a fence gate, but I'll get that later. Oh, there's a pig in the minecart. Okay, so what you're going to want to do um, first is I like to just make my foundation. So you're going to want to make it at least four, or no, five, excuse me, five long and four, uh, no, excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, you're going to want to make it four wide, so you have three blocks in the middle for the lane. Just like this. Then, you don't have to do the decorations, but I, I'm not going to do them in this demonstration. So, what you're going to want to do, dig down three blocks all the way at the end until you get to bedrock. Now, another material that I didn't have time to grab is a chest. This is just so it doesn't lag. Um, you're going to want to get one trap chest and two regular chests, um, etc. Two trap chest, one regular. And just put hoppers leading into those. And make sure you shift, otherwise it will not work. All the way up to the top floor. And then, let's just say that this is my lane. Then you want to take out these black three blocks. Place comparators coming... Oops, I'm sorry. Place comparators coming out. Dig down one block. Place comparators going out. Then what you want to do... Put three repeaters all on three ticks. Place redstone on just like this. Just like that. Because then it'll activate either way. So it'll actually activate all of them. You want to dig down all the way to bedrock. Now what you're going to want to do is, this one might be a little trickier. Because um, you're probably going to have to break some of the comparators or, or repeaters. But if you can just mindlessly get your way in here. So you want to dig out that block. Place a repeater. No ticks. Except, well, one tick. Default. Same here. And then I'm just going to dig down in the middle. So then either way, no matter what one you power or what hopper you activate, it'll go into all of them. Then what you're going to want to do... Wait... Oh, I'm sorry, yes. Um, I was doing this right. Um, so then you're going to want to bring out the hopper one... Not the hopper, excuse me. The um, redstone uh, repeater out one more. So you'll have two layers. So you'll have two little rows of them. Then what you're going to do is break these blocks right here. Break that block. Put place a redstone torch. Now, if we put something in this one, hello. Okay, I don't know what that was, but I think I just crashed my recorder. So we're gonna try this again. Okay, so you might notice how there's a redstone repeater in here. That's just because that this. Right here is 100%. So, what you're going to do is just put one little thing in there. It doesn't matter what it is. And it should get stuck in here. Yes. So, now what we're going to try to do is take a minecart if you're in creative mode or any block, but it has to be a single block, and just chuck it in the hopper. Do not click the hopper because then it won't work. So, just chuck it in. Notice how the redstone turned on? That let the um, redstone repeater through. So that's what you want to do. So now you got it working. Um, so I kind of made 